Hello for the book questions, it is I, Aaron the book question. Today, well, first day in a new house, I move. Woohoo! So, that is why. That we are going to celebrate my first video in this house with this great book. Windfall, let luck find you. Jennifer E. Smith. Warning, this book contains romance and other inappropriate stuff for under certain age. Okay, I'm done with the warning. And so, okay, let's get right on to it. The main characters' names are Alice. That's the, like the main, main character, you know what I mean? And Teddy and Leo. The best friends, they have been so for a long time. And one day everything changes. Teddy, he is uh, Alice lost her mom and dad at at pretty young age, and now is living with her uncle and aunt. Teddy, a quite a poor boy with a father who gambles like crazy, which is why he left the family. Which is also why that Teddy's family is poor. Because, you know, his father wasted it all on gambling. I know, sad life. Sad, sad. Anyway, but then, great luck befalls the two of them. So, 18th birthday of Teddy. So, Alice, she buys a lottery ticket at the convenience store. Yay, we nothing's thrilling. I mean, what are the odds of winning the lottery? It was a joke, a token. Uh, a little appreciation, but it wasn't. It won. The lottery won. The lottery hit the jackpot. So, everything changed from that day on. Teddy was suddenly a millionaire, which is why he went a bit of a cuckoo person trying um, spending all his money. And you, I know, she didn't spend all of it, obviously, but he started going crazy to buy things. And that was exactly what Alice worried about. She didn't want things to change. She didn't like change. She st always thought change is bad. After her mother and father died, well, she could only have thought that after all. Then, then... And when she saw Teddy going crazy, and and she began to become farther and farther to her. And that was even more bad for her, because Alice secretly has a little bit of a crush on him. I warned you, it, it's a romance. I, I told you it's a romance. Then why did I click on, the vid on this video? I don't know. Anyway, so, continue on to the story. So, Alice was very worried that... Teddy had started to lose interest, but that was the opposite, because Teddy actually had a little bit of a crush on her, too. I know, I know, totally romantic, blah, 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 ga, ha, ha, let's just, let's just suffer through it quickly. So, Teddy and, uh, Teddy and Alice, they're very, going through a lot of conflict, and Alice is tormented by these thoughts that Teddy won't love her and all that. And then Alice finds out that Teddy actually does love her. And Teddy, uh, Teddy to impress her, began to um, donate money to the people in need and so on. And this was very good and this impressed Alice. And Alice said... When she found out that Teddy had the same feelings for her as she did to him, as she did to him, she said, "Well, you don't have to do all this to impress me, Teddy McAvoy." I know, good, happy ending, nice ending. Oh, uh, FYY, with the the third best friend Leo, he's a total nerd and he knows everything about everything. You know what I mean? You always have a kid like that in school. You, you should know that. And she was actually the first one they called when they won the lottery because they didn't call the police, they didn't call the lawyer, they didn't call anyone. 
but their friend, Leo, 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 and that's great, Leo. And so, and Leo, and it's amazing how they trusted Leo instead of an official lawyer or a government official or whatever people do when they win the lottery. And so, and FYY, FYY, I actually meant to tell you this. Teddy is gay. I mean, not Teddy. I, what am I saying? Okay? Just, just, just forget that. And Leo is gay. I mean, and no, there's no offense to gay people at all because I, they feel that way. And they feel that gay is natural. So it doesn't matter. It's cool. It's cool. It's great. And Leo is gay. And also... He seemed to have a little bit of a fear. Nothing ever bad had happened to him. And and all this bad stuff had happened to Teddy and Alice. And they won the lottery. So she thought that since he had a good life till then, he would have a bad thing happen to him. And then he made it happen. He he broke up with his gay gay boyfriend and and it wasn't really a uh, big of a reason. They both didn't want to break apart. And so Alice told him that just because nothing ever bad ever happened to you doesn't mean you have to make it happen to yourself. And everything got back, and it's a happy ending for all the characters in the book. Great book! Great lesson to teach in there! And, and it's good to be back in my channel. And like always, your book question or a random book question. Great book, give it a read.